welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we get started today, you know, my question for today is, what is the hardest color for you guys to ombre? My hardest color to ombre would be black. So today, I'll be showing you guys how to do an easier, a easier way to do black ombre, and then we're gonna do some see-through black nails with some black butterflies on top. You guys probably seen the picture in our community uh, post. post. And all right, check it out. Okay guys, I am just gonna start out with my clear powder, about 75% of the nail first, and then I'm gonna drag it down just a bit, and I'm gonna go in and tap out the top area to flatten out the top like that. And now that is done, I'm gonna press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail. And another trick when doing clear powder or clear nail design, make sure when you pick up your bead of clear powder, make sure it's a little bit um on the runnier side because if it's a little bit more on the drier side then you will see a little bit of bubbling in the powder there you go i'm just gonna press it into the nail and then now that's done we're gonna go in with a second bead of the same color which is clear <laughs> And I'm gonna place it right there. I'm gonna drag it down just a bit like that. And then I uh, clean my brush, dip it in a little bit monomer, and then I'm gonna go in and let that flush into the cuticles. And I'm gonna press and pull it all the way down to the tip again. There you go. And just to save me a lot of hand filing time, I am going to go in with my not polished 5 in 1 cross bit just to taper in the edges of the nails like that. So we're just going to taper it in to make sure the, the shape is not super wide. All right, now that is done. We're going to go in with the smoothing out the top of the nail like so. There you go. Just smooth it out. All right, now I'm just gonna go in with the not polished hand file just to shape up my nails again. There you go. And then make sure you get the top to make it nice and straight across. And for this next step, we're gonna be mixing some clear gel polish with black gel polish to make the black see through, okay? We're just gonna paint it on there just like that. There you go. And then now, when this is done, I am gonna cure it underneath the light for 30 seconds. And now that is nice and dry, I am gonna go in with my black gel polish and make my first line just like that. There you go. And then another line, just making straight lines. There you go. Make sure the lines are not straight across, but more of an angle. There you go. Okay, now our lines are done. We're gonna go over the top of it and give it that nice curve. There you go. Same goes for the next one. We're gonna make another. No, we're not gonna do that one. We're gonna make. We're gonna continue to the next one and make that little curve right there. There you go. And then same goes for this one. We're gonna make another curve. It's almost like you're drawing a flower. Doesn't that look like one of those little flower, little daisy? Same goes for that one right there. All right, now the last piece. There you go. Now that it's all done, we're gonna go in and color 
in with the black gel. There you go. We're just going to color it in with the black gel. There you go. Just make sure you just color inside the lines. Okay, now we're gonna finish this up like this and we're gonna cure it under the gel light for 30 seconds. And now that is done, nice and dry. We're gonna go in with a dotting tool. I did not have my dotting tool, so I am gonna use my paintbrush. I am just gonna make little white dots. There you go. And make sure your dots are different sizes. You want some big ones, some small ones, some big ones, some small ones, and some tiny ones, okay? You do not want them all to be the same size. There you go. Just wanna just use a white gel to make our little tiny dots. All right, and when we're done with the dots, we're gonna cure it under the lights for 30 seconds, and now that is done, I am gonna go in with the Not Polished Matte Top Coat and just paint it on the whole nail like this. There you go. And just wipe off the edges a bit. And now I'm gonna go in with the Dippin' Base Coat and just dab on little areas where I want my tiny little gem to go on there you go and you're just gonna press it down just make sure there you go and make sure you don't get the dipping base on top of the rhinestone because if um sometime where the base where you apply your rhinestone is not completely dry and you need it to dry faster you can put a little bit activator on it to help speed up the drying process but if you have the base on top of the rhinestone, it can dole out the rhinestone when you put on the activator. To make sure you do not get the dipping base on top of the rhinestone. Just one tiny little gem right there. Moving on to our next nail, I am using number M68 from Not Polish. I am gonna apply right there and drag it down just a bit. Clean my brush, dip it in a little bit monomer, and now let it flush into the cuticles like so. And when that is done, you're just gonna press and pull it down to the tip of the nail. Nice and smooth.
right we're just gonna cut it off right there and then we're just gonna press it into the shape all right with the not polished five in one cross bit again I am just gonna go in and smooth out the top of the nail like so and with the not polished hand file we're gonna shape up the nails Okay, when this is done, I am going to buff it out nice and smooth. Now that is nice and smooth, we're going to go in with the Not Polish Ombre Gel and paint it on the whole nail like this. And make sure you clean off the edges before you cure it under the light because the gel tends to ruin the shape of the nail just a bit. Now that is nice and cure, I am going to go in with the black from Not Polish and just brush it on directly on the cure nails. There you go, just brush it on and we're just gonna brush it on make sure more pressure at the tip and lessen the pressure as you go up and if you want this to be darker but the pigment of the acrylic is not gripping to the nails anymore what you can do is paint on the ombre gel one more time and then cure it under the light and then repeat this step. And anytime I use this technique to do my ombre, I make sure I go in with a base gel before I put on a top coat just to ensure that my black ombre on the bottom lasts as long, okay? So base gel, cure for 30 seconds, top gel, here for 30 seconds and then you be you would be good and then now that is done nice and dry i am going to go in with the not polish dipping base number two to apply my rhinestone on all right i'm just going to put a little dab right there and make sure when you guys do this don't let the dipping base get on top of your rhinestones because sometimes when you want to speed up the drying process of the gems you can use activator and activator is number three and what activator does is activator help to speed up the drying process of the dipping base all right, there you go. I am just gonna dab it on there just a bit and apply your gem. All right guys, that is the finished product of the nail. There you go. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. What did you think of that video? Was that ombre pretty simple to follow? And if you liked the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And do not forget that bell. I'll see you guys next time. For more cool videos, more cool tutorials and our previous videos and whatnot, make sure you click on the link over here and over here. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> he said over there. <laughs> See you guys later. You can use.